I'm Lone Wolf Niner. Today I'm going to be continuing Hogwarts. Let's get it done. Alright, let's get out of here. Am I go upstairs here, maybe? Now, which way is the common room? Level one locked. Must be different starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. A new fifth year. They're lucky they didn't end up as dragon kid. Like that poor man from the ministry. Hmm. Can't imagine starting a new this late. A little room, everyone. Let me. All right, introduce yourself to Nelly, Gareth, and Cressida. All right, where are they? Okay, over here. <clears throat> It'll be the next butterbeer. Sure, you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Not if it's yellow. Hello, you're the new fifth. And year. warm. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig were all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Figs. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Your aunt? That must be awkward. Then you can do whatever you want. Must be nice. Does having your aunt here make things difficult? More than you'd think. Most people assume I can't get into trouble or be given detention. But they're wrong. Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Nice meeting you, Gareth. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and... Thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. <clears throat> Good luck today. Get that right out of the way. He's going to be a teacher's They're pet. Have to watch out for that kid. <sighs> what the hell is she doing up there? That, how am I supposed to talk to her? Don't fall off this time, Girl, Nelly. She can get away with anything. Uh, how am I supposed to get up there? Don't fall off this time, Nelly. Nelly, Nelly will do anything for attention. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Would it Don't be like what? I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower from the outside without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard news <coughs> about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? It's true. It was terrifying. It was nothing I couldn't handle. It was terrifying. Yes. Our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. How thrilling! Mm. And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. Alright, nice to meet you. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. Back to climbing you go, huh, honey? <laughs> oh, what we got here? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. 
Is it true that your Professor Fink's protege? I've studied with him. I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did a study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. I'm sure you'll get it, girl. Don't worry. We'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. Wish well, you luck, honey. Luck it. it was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. New Gryffindor. Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. I asked Ronan what he recommended. All right. Good morning. I trust you're ready Good for the first day Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of Good this evening. day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls. Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something ordinary wizardry to ensure your success. Huh. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Okay. Do keep up. Ah, the guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. <laughs> Simply cast Revelio on it. And Revelio. Rebellion. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside okay. and outside of the castle. Can I kick the cat? I hate cats. No time to waste. New classes to attend. I am not a cat fan. I don't give a fuck. What you think? You know what I'm saying? Give a fuck. Ah, good timing. 
perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your blue flames guide contains a map of the castle. Mm. Open it up and find Central Hall. All right, Central Hall, huh? Let's see. Um, right here, it's the only one lit up, right? Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Let's go. Here we are. Quite the time saver. <laughs> These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Okay. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Obviously, that should be all for now. You'll be expected mm. to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And Ooh. I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Hogsmeade? What's Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Ah, cool. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly <coughs> vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Uh, there is, in fact. I'm afraid there isn't, yeah. I'm not saying anything. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what <laughs> Professor Fig said. Mm-hmm. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Okay, honey. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Yes, you did, sir. I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, 
I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not so subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Um, you can. Uh, okay. 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 So, which one's the closest one to me here? Um, don't matter, right? Alright, so we'll go to this one. The map is enchanted mm. to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead. What with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. No. Mr. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I get to I craft my own wand. Information Let's about go. Mysterious locket. For now, dude, I want to go there now. Classes and pay <clears> attention. <throat> More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. I get to craft my own wand. All right, charms. All right, so these pages will guide me to my next objective. Okay. So just follow the page. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Okay, baby. That's cool. I want to get to that village, man. Get my wand here. Let's get to class. Get this over with. Here's that word again, Libioso. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. Libioso. Poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Skill. Knowledge. Knowledge. I was close. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation. Look at the werewolf in Levioso. the back on the wall. A man turned into a werewolf. Is a weak opponent. <laughs> that is fucking sweet. Look at that. A blueprint. One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. Especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. Ooh. Oh, I get Levioso. Let's go. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Okay. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, Levioso. Good. Now, well done. How sweet. Very good. But the best way to practice is by duo. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, I'm gonna also kick your SEO so. And Protego. You may begin. 
You want some of this, young man? Ready? Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Huh? Huh? Let me Easy. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> what can I say, Yoso? <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank, Thank you, you Oso. Much. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen I love these words. Any indication, we can expect great things from you. Oh. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. I'm sure. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. <clears throat> All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Okay. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. It was. Never used my wand in combat. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Sounds intriguing. Sounds suspicious. Unsanctioned? I don't know. School rules are in place for a reason. <clears throat> yes, to keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared to know. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Okay. Beautiful, baby. Challenge complete. There's two already. Alright. Let's go to the other class here. I want to go to that town, man. I want to get my wand and shit. Hope you can buy clothes and shit too. That's why I'm trying to pick up everything that I Rebellion. open up all these cases and chests that I see. Rebellioso! Are we in here? Nice to see you, my young friend. You Thing over here. Revelio. Oh, okay. Like, where is this? Oh, upstairs again. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Oh. 
Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Okay. <sighs> Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of ah, fresh air. Thought I was going to the town, After man. Me. Thought I was done with class. Ah. <sighs> Now he's got me outside. Come on, buddy. With mastery, as I'm sure the Look at that red boy. Would agree. Thank God I hmm? picked that class. <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Eh? Eh? Okay. So you are okay. Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones. Akio, but instead of throwing them, very good. Woo! I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing that I can control balls like this. Splendid. Whoa. To the best mm. of us. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. What's this? Oh, look at her. Fucking hot shadow there. There we go. All right, woman. Akio. Yeah, what's up, huh? What'd it be Very like, good. woman? Mm -hmm. 
No way. What? Who the fuck she thinks she is? <sighs> yes. Shit, man, now it's gonna pinch mine in, right? Unless she runs into her other, her other. Knocks it out, knocks it out, knocks it out. Oh my god, she got every single one, man. What the fuck? So didn't I. Huh? What's up, huh? What do you mean, like? What do you mean, Remarkable. Like? We go to town now, Dad. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? No, I don't want to. Oh, no moving <laughs> objects now. I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You Let me give you room, it. there, woman. This round. No cheating. Here we go. Oh, that ain't going nowhere. Boom! That ain't going nowhere. I got her. I got her right here, baby. I gotta hit this one right here. I gotta hit this one. When do I hit it? When do I hit it? When do I hit it? Right now? No, 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 no! No, no! Oh my god. Locked on the wrong one, man. That was bullshit. Yeah, this is the one I wanted to lock on. That's it. What's this? Oh, she's gotta fuck up. She's gotta fuck up. She's gotta fuck up. She's got, I can win. I can win, baby. Right? No, I can't win. Oh. I can't. I'm gonna cry. No, 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 no. Woo! Nicely done. That kind of sucks, man. Alright. Good win, girl. <laughs> Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. I'm glad you understand. I'm holding my own. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, <clears throat> I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. Wagadu? My mother received an offer <laughs> to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Nice. Nice to meet you. How big is Uganda? Uganda? Like his magic the same in Uganda. All right. Nice well, to meet it's you, been honey. Nice talking and competing with you. I need to get to the, the city uh, here. I think Professor Our village. wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio and A word, if you would. If you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Okay. Hmm. 
Alright. What do I do now here? Side quests? I don't want to do side quests. Where's the main thing? I want to get to the town here, man. Let's see here. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's <clears throat> been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. That's kind of what. That's kind of you to say. What did you challenge? I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. My mother sent me a howler after I got a paw on my transfiguration owl. And then the werewolves joined the goblins, goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, people. <laughs> Look at this it guy. <laughs> no, it wasn't. What? It was Basil Flat. Ooh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the minister a boot or the minister a flack? <laughs> Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't... Oh, I see. I have an objective now. I'm going to go to the... Track, baby. Of course, we're gonna track that. Hit my little page there. So I have to grab these pages too. So if I see any more, then I'm gonna grab some. Any in here floating around? I don't see any. There's Rebellion. Any pages over here? Still don't see any. Still don't see any of them pages here. Maybe I only need to grab the one, huh? Yeah, I don't see any more. Revelio. Painting depicts a young orphan's wizard. I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. <coughs> oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are.
I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Uh, hasn't Professor... Professor Fig said anything? All right, no, Professor. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. What, more work? Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, yeah. we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes... No, and so I'm not costs. going? Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. Oh, You've managed yes. your classes well with the Had me wand, worried, baby. But you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm ready to go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help oh. you get your bearings. Okay. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Sebastian or Nanny? Um, probably Nanny, right? Or, or should I take, yeah, I'm going go with her. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. That's the black girl, right? She knows the area. That's the one I want to go with right here. Well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's I liked her. undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid <sighs> him and his associates, including his One from Nigeria, I think. Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Oh. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butter beer at the Three Broomsticks. Okay, baby. So... Rebellion. Is there anything in here? I report to Professor Ronan. Huh? Hmm. Ah, there you are. You have oh, there you are. Me, Professor. Indeed, I do. I need to talk and to you so I can get into town and get my wand, man. The Come on! Fixes Good things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll complete the task. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Revelio. Alright, so uh, what am I supposed to do here? Okay. Got it. And one more, maybe? Yeah, one more. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. Easy enough. I trust the preliminary. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try, then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. A 
the Pano! So I could fix shit like bridges. Yep, see? Let's go, dude. That's it. Very good. No way. If you would like to practice mending something, have yeah. a look with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Oh, Perhaps a jilted okay. lover thought it too accurate. Okay. Repair it. No? Am I not supposed to do it? Reparo. Revelio. Oh, maybe not, huh? I don't know what the hell statue he's talking about. Repower. All right, let's get out of here. Why is this here? This cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. Revelio. Hello. I don't believe you. <coughs> oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Perhaps I'll have a look. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me. Well, if you it's missing a butterfly. You can see right out the bat here, honey. Are you sure you're in the right school? Uh, bro? Oh. All right, good talking to you. So we need to find a butterfly. So where do we find a butterfly? Let me go to the top, and then I'll go right to the bottom. I'll switch my way to the bottom here. Let's go all the way to the tippity tippity tap. Okay. I can still go higher here. Rebellion. There's no way there's a butterfly up here, right? The standing model of a hand is... Pictures, video, nothing. Let's check this room here. I don't see anything up here. Oh, we got a page.
Okay, over here maybe. Revelio. We'll do them later here. I want to get to the mission here and get to my. I want to get my wand, baby. Revelio. Let's check over here just in case. Nothing in here, huh? Dang. Okay, I'll go down here then. Check this floor. Revelio. Stay in the side first here. Can you go in here? Rebellion. Butterfly. I'm looking for a page and a butterfly. Figured the butterfly would be out here by the gardens, no? soon someone saw the riddle <laughs> oh she's still talking about that oh man that's funny mm -mm. there it is all right now I need a butterfly baby where is me butterflies Use. It's absolutely sweet on me. I'm sure. Revelio. Every time he's around me, he's crooning at me. I caught the play magical. So I need to let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. I bet you my way into town is when I find that mm -hmm. butterfly. Hey, it is you, honey. There's nothing. Okay. 
I was hoping it was you, girl. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've yes, I am. Good. Very much Shall so. I intend to give you a first rate Hogsmead experience. Off we go, baby. Let's go. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Revelio. Alright, hold on, honey. I need to find a... She there's a butterfly around here. Oh, abandon. No, I don't want to abandon. Why would I want to do that? No, I don't want to abandon her. I would never abandon you, woman. There's a butterfly right there. It's obviously not the one I need, though. Yes, baby, we're heading out. Let's go. 